Hello and welcome back everybody to the Geek Tech Show. In case you're new here, make sure you click the sub, like, subscribe and comment button over here. Well, because you never know what is the next thing I'm going to be reviewing on this channel and look what I got today. So this is the Viewpoint BP250AW and it is kind of small actually. You might think this is a huge thing but it is optical illusion because if you put this right on me, you can see that this is a very small backpack. That being said, I do like the looks of it and compared to the other BP Tactical, this one is a little bit better and here is why. This one is just not as heavy. The other one was almost like five pounds. This is I think is about one and a half maybe and it doesn't contain too much. There is of course an issue with this one if you do decide to get this for yourself. Take a look at this. It is very squishable except this part over here but still this is extremely squishable and this is something I don't really like about getting in a backpack. That being said this is probably a very good backpack for you if you're going travel and don't actually need to put your camera in here although it is made for drones and stuff like that I don't think you should take this to anything except if you're traveling so what you get over here on the top here we have one place where you can put things into over here we have another place where you can put this with a back claw right there that protects it we have some strap that you can grab and on the bottom actually there's a zipper here and if you open this up you get the famous thing here it is a bottle cover for you and it makes the whole bag exceptionally waterproof and that's one thing I like about the waterproof is almost all of them have this feature I think all of them actually have this feature so it lets you, lets you make sure that nothing is going to get wet in the bag, especially if you're going hiking or to places. On the back we have a double strap here and it helps keep this whole thing safe. And here is the second strap, so one strap on the top, another strap on the bottom. And a lot of very soft touch material and I do like that this thing about the rope rope is that the material itself feels very good when you actually touch it. Now on the top we have a wrap top location in a very strategic area over here. And there is a divider so you can actually put something in here as well in case you need to. Also on the top you have the following. So you can put your lunch here in case you want to. Also you have three of those right here, three dividers. And on the other side of here you can actually open this up and you have this where you can put a bunch of stuff in here in case you actually need to, including this strap over here to put headphones into as well. And another cool thing about this is that this is actually one of the selling points of this bag is the power is this location over here where you can put a lot of things into. Before we get into here, the second selling point and what I like about it, you can put a water bottle or even a tripod over here you can see there's a strap here that goes that you can actually use to secure your tripod on the side as well. So this is kind of like a backpack that you can even use for your camera. And there's actually a small location to put a pen over here too. But over here, this is where well, the biggest selling point of this bag, which is pretty much open this up and there's a secret, not so secret, compartment in here. And if you take this out, you can put whatever you want in here and it becomes really an empty bag kind of but this is really why you should be getting this if in case you want to so in here it features this small GoPro 
<laughs> that's not a GoPro, but pretty much this is the GoPro. But this is made kind of for the GoPro, or it is made for the DJI Maverick, maybe not Maverick, it would be like a Spark or something like really small drone that will fit in here. And the good thing is, it is in this enclosed container. Opening up this container, and this is kind of a camel like pattern to it, this makes it super cool. You see, one of the biggest selling points of this bag is this organizer kit that is included. And over here, you can put lenses, you can put GoPro, you can put uh, your DJI, uh, DJI drone in, in here. And you can rearrange this, so you can take this out and put it anywhere you want. And this is a location where you can put a bunch of different memory cards. So they're really thinking you're going to be do doing some really heavy duty uh, camera work because there was like so many locations for you to put like memory cards into one, two, three, four. That was like, I oh don't know, this is like way too much. This is like way more than you ever need to. But think about if you're going camping or on a long trip, you can have a huge bunch of memory cards all lined up over here. You can have your drone. You can have also over here your GoPro. And then you can have all of this all combined. And plus you have a lot of room inside here to put your snacks and maybe even put something else in here. The only downside of this, and this is a big downside, is that if you want to take a camera, you will need another bag because this is just not big enough for you to put an actual camera in here. It is kind of small. Unless this is a small DSLR, it's not going to fit in. That being said, this thing is probably the coolest thing in this. But unfortunately, I tried to put another one in here, another case that I have from Roblo, and it wouldn't fit. So this is probably the only case that works in here. And unfortunately, once you put this in, there's almost no room here to put anything else inside here. So overall, this is pre pretty cool. It is the viewpoint to BP to 50AW. I kind of dig the looks. I don't like that it is kind of super small. It is really too small for my taste. I can't actually put everything that I need in here. And it's just the way it is organized. I think they could have really reused the whole room here and made so much more space that you can put everything inside in a more efficient method. And it actually failed kind of to do that. But I, I would rate this pretty high regardless. It's like an 8 out of 10. I think if you're going hiking, camping, and you don't need a DSLR, this will probably do the job for you. The price is just decent for this. It is not too expensive, especially if you can get this like for 80 bucks. It is a really good deal overall. And yeah, I'm still in the process of searching for the perfect backpack. If it ever exists for everything, EDC use for everyday use, which is actually stands for EDC use, and to put my camera and photo equipment. So definitely this is not going to be the bag because it is not, it doesn't have everything I actually need in here. And I'm very, very picky when it comes to my equipment. So there you have it. Hopefully you did enjoy this video and I do give this a thumbs up because it is pretty good. It is very good job at what it does. It just doesn't suit me. It doesn't mean it's not going to suit you. And if you did enjoy this video, uh, make sure you go ahead and smash the thumbs up button all the way at the bottom and hit like, subscribe and see you in the next video of the Geek Tech Show. So I can't wait to show you what is the next thing I'm going to be reviewing on this channel. See you on the inside.